Pyotaro? What a little hater bitch. Welcome to Ask Me Anything MSM Style. I am your host, Yo Pietaro, publisher of Muscle Sport Magazine. Time to go being crazy meant something. Nowadays, everybody's crazy. Would you eat your wife if you crashed her an airplane and you survived and she died? Ugats. I guess if I did eat her, I would eat her pussy first. Her old dog's sake. I'm going to tell her that when I go home. <laughs> <laughs> Who gonna pause? You have the greatest questions in the world. You can act like a man! What's the matter with you? You know what I would do if my wife's body was there? I would finally fuck her in the ass! And you can't stop me now! You dick! How you doing? My name's John Sikoris, and this is Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. He's got mad love. Mad love. Cat Vong. Good see ya. What's up? I can hear myself better now. God, see ya. Kim Haynes. Oh, Kim Haynes. That video with you with that fucking green fucking unitard on. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Lolly Gaga. Big blob clitoris in the house. Oh, yeah. Here we go, baby. Let's start a fun fucking show. What do you say? What do you say? <laughs> Big Bob <laughs> whistling away like Chef Pasquale. I'm a handsome bugger. Thank you, Lally. I know you're just saying that because you want to get in my sweatpants. I'm wearing sweatpants. Welcome. Holy fuck. Titan Medical Center presents Ask Me Anything MSM Style. That is right. Off Crystal Baby. <laughs> Off Buddies Titan from Greg Valentino's Talking Smack are also the title sponsors of this fine fucking show. And I am fucking elated to have them on board doing this program. If I can get these things to stay, it would be so fucking easy. Wow, in the city. Well, Paulie, what's up, Paulie? Thank you so much, man. You, you've been, been a, a very, very... Uh, a good dude to talk with in DMs. All of you have. What's the higher level than a god? You are the... <laughs> Ariana. <laughs> Legal steroids. Well, this is Titan Medical Center. Look at that. It's fucking prescription bottles. It's empty. I already shot it all into my... Into my fucking... My, uh... Where, where was I shooting at? Mostly my delts. Sure, K-Fitness, right after you send me money. Does he want to see your boobies? It less stress you. Hey, Slice, what's up, buddy? Yes, the new sponsor of our Thursday Instagram live program, Family Style. We're going to enjoy the show today. Um, I hope you guys were able to catch my new uh, video on YouTube. The new MSTV episode, of course, with the Big Rob um, from Monday show, where he dressed me down. He called me a coward, and that I was jealous of him and Ron Harris. I answered that video. Um, and if you haven't seen it, go enjoy yourself. Watch away. But not right now. Stay here for an hour. Give me, give me an hour to convince you to stay. That video was awesome. It was great. Thank you, everyone. Crystal, Paul, all he is. I saw a lot of good comments. Rasta man. What's up, Rasta? I saw a lot of cool comments on that video. Uh, Princess Barbie. Mm, mm, good. She's like Campbell's soup. Just with vagina. <laughs> I'm kidding. But I'm not kidding. I'm perverted. Hi, Lena. I missed you, Elena. Cody Houston, what's up? Live streams brought to you by Team Humanity Big Rob Fitness. Please subscribe for the best fitness and nutrition tips. Yes, he wants to grow our channels. 
Prince uh, Johnny Johnny Starner. What's up, JS? Johnny, how's that fucking disgusting bruise of yours? You're a maniac, dude. Too much weight. Joe P. Tano, Connecticut guy. What's up? Pissack. Oh, Hamburg. Where is he? Anyone can go live. I If Big Rob Fitness himself is watching this show, you are my guest if you wish to be. Send in a request to join live and I will click you back in. We can see your $300,000 house. Kim Haynes. Oh, is this the first time that you live with me, Kim? I believe so. Waiting for Kim Haynes' fit ass. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yo, baby. Hey, how's it going? What's up, Dale? What you doing? Sorry. Hold on. I see you. I got it. All right. Hey. Now I see your face. Oh, you're wearing you? an MSM ladies tank top racer back style. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Great. Okay. Because I can barely hear you. You can barely hear me? Why? Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I have my volume all the way up. but Oh. It's okay. Hey, I'm in uniform. Oh, on. oh, I wish I was on that couch with you right now. Oh, I would be bossy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laying here icing my arm so it'll get better. How is that? I know you showed us the pictures on Instagram. You had the sling going for a little bit. Yeah, I was stupid and did uh, upright rows too heavy. Ah, uh, yeah. So it screwed up my shoulders. Yep. It's an my shoulder and my arm. Position. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. does put a weird strain yeah. on your fucking, uh, your arm. Well, feel, if Brianna I was got there, on my ass I, would, about it. I would be rubbing Ben Gay on it if I was there. Oh. <laughs> Maybe That's something so else. so sweet. <laughs> I seems to be helping the most, though, in just resting it. Okay, yes. And I not using it. Had the, some yeah. kind of acronym when I was learning first aid in the police academy. RICE. Rest, ice, yes. elevation. I think yes, I what the yes, C was. Yes, yes, yes. Absolutely. So, hey, are you excited for our show tomorrow? I am excited, but you know what? I won't be able to watch it live. No. I'm coaching a basketball game. It starts <laughs> at 7.30. I'm like, fuck. I looked at this oh. guy. I, I told Crystal yesterday. I was like, That's motherfucker. But I will watch it on replay. Don't you worry. You can, you can watch the – you're going to post it on your um, – YouTube. On your YouTube, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, okay. So well, you'll I'm going to try to sneak on for a minute, but I'm going to be surrounded by 11, 17-year-olds. So I don't know. They're, they're hormones oh, wow. are raging. It might be That's difficult crazy. for me to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I have to coach them, so I can't, like, That's just crazy. disappear you know, and jerk right. off in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, after all this time, my kids are finally napping at the same time. Oh, so good. I could finally get on here. Mm. Quite, or, um, nap time in my house is like playing whack-a-mole. Yes, I'm sure it is. Very... <laughs> one down, one up. One down, one up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I'm always loyal and I always listen. You do. You are a loyal family member. I do. And I cannot wait to meet you in person when we do the LA Fit Expo together. I know. Just a couple more weeks. That's exciting. Yes, that would be January 26th and 27th, booth 357. The maidens will be present. Miss Haynes, Miss Wildfire, and Miss Ink Jessie. <laughs> I'm and excited to meet them too. Me too. I mean, well, yeah. I met Crystal already, but Jesse, I haven't met. But Jesse, yeah, I talked to Jesse in DM quite a bit. She's a really cool gal. She is. She seems like a cool, cool, yeah. cool gal, and I have a feeling we're gonna be laughing our fucking ass. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, I think short of punching me in the face, we should all get along pretty well. <laughs> punching you in the face? I don't know about punching. I'm just kidding. Something else I can in be the so face, sarcastic, maybe. though. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to have a great time, and Ray is going to be right next to us from Country Crush. So, uh, okay, cool. And his wife, Autumn, is going to be competing that weekend in a grip strength competition. So, wow. And her birthday is Saturday while we're oh, away. Nice. So we have to party hardy on Saturday night. Oh, wow. As if we weren't going to anyway. <laughs> right. Even <laughs> exactly. more excuse. Right. Right. Even no, that's more great. Excuses no, we'll have a good time. To get stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a fucking wonderful time, and I cannot wait to fucking hang with all of you guys. Anybody out there in L.A., 
come down to that fucking booth. Come in the booth. We're going to be doing interviews in the fucking booth. None <laughs> of this fucking waiting online and fucking standing right. outside and waving to the kid. No, you're part of the fucking booth. You come in with us. I'll, and it's I'll, easy I'll to find. Fuck her up. I don't give a shit how many people want to come in. They're all welcome. Yeah, it's easy to find, too. It's in a good location. Yes, it's right near the arm wrestling thing, and right. there will be three right. girls barely wearing any clothing wearing black and white <laughs> outfits. So <laughs> I'll be wearing my panties, too, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is my attire whenever I watch the show. <laughs> really? Wow, I'm you're, very like, loyal. <laughs> you're like a guy who wears his football jersey it's on awesome. Sundays. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, I'll let you go, Joe. I got to get my lunch done. All right, Kim. I can't wait Thank to give you. you a hug and a kiss and poison. Thank you. And Friday night, tomorrow night, it is going to be Fit Chicks Chat on Crystal. Wild right. Fund and Anthony, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Co host Crystal and Kim will be speaking about <laughs> some adult content, probably. Most likely. <laughs> I cannot Thanks, Joe. wait. I cannot wait for that fucking show. It's going to be. And then we're going to do the second episode live from the bar on Friday Which is going to be really fun. In L.A. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a great afternoon. Take Thank advantage you. of this time while the kids are sleeping. Maybe break out. The, maybe you got new batteries in the house. Maybe you can break out one of the devices. <laughs> 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 All right, Joe. Take care. See you later, Kim. Okay, bye. Sweet. I love you. There she is. Fit ass, and you could see her wearing her tank top and her uh, MSMG string. I cannot wait. I love all three ladies, Inc. Uh, Jesse, Kim Haynes, and what? Gav, you and I both, bro. That was. I actually got a little, uh, a little turned on there while she kept dipping the camera down, showing us the fucking panties. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little damp. Good edit for you, Rob. That is easy, yo. What's up, ZZ? Thank you, buddy. Yes, I had a lot of fun. I wanted to do even more, but it was like taking me so long to fucking do. I just wanted to get it up. Uh, I wanted to get it up. Get it? Ha! I'd rather go to the Olympia. The Ruby than the Olympia. Joe, those MSM panties look good on the ladies. They certainly do, and they look even better crumpled in the corner, damp in the bedroom. <laughs> I heard a rumor Kim is dating Savage Psycho Joe. No! She would never date Savage Psycho Joe. My wife hates when I compete because contest prep is a bitch. I don't blame her. Well, fuck competing, man. Go out and get drunk. <laughs> she has a date with the bedroom bully, does she? I put everything in it. I have nothing to hide. You heard me tell that young, young police aide that. I thought he said agent. I'm such a retard. <laughs> I fucking... Kia hour back. Oh, Kia. And there she is. She's a cutie, cutie, cutie. But welcome to Titan Medical Center. Presents Ask Me Anything MSM Style. So ask away, please. Autumn's birthday is that Saturday. So is my wedding anniversary. Holy shit. I didn't know it was your anniversary. That's weird. That is weird. So is, is Rich coming? Because are, are you going to just celebrate it when you go home? Because that's always good, too. You're on your lunch break. You can tune in. I'm glad you did, Kian. I always love when Kean is in the house. Fuck Joe. Font have to bang the wife after the picture. <laughs> Festival soup, where are you? Joe Pietaros knows. Thank you for the, 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 the kind DMs. <laughs> I want to know your real name. <laughs> I love the account. Don't get me wrong. You know I do. But just to say, you know, like a, a good, serious thank you. Azago, you changed it. Is that the one you had the other day? Bro and Co Fitness? Go live with Brother Ham Brother Hamburg, where are you? Anytime you want. You can go live, of course. He's going to be at home. So why don't you just do Skype sex? That'll be good. What's a lunch break, Alex says? <laughs> I think competing affects your loved ones more than you. DJ Foz, oh, where's the hat, Fozzy? How's it going, pal? How the fuck are you, bro? It doesn't affect mine. Ink Jesse. She had she she has some very nice videos that I will be using for MSTV. I was gonna use it in this one, but I had all of that. The only part of MSTV I didn't have finished was the Rob thing, and I just plopped it in at the beginning. Obviously, I wanted to get that at the beginning. And there's Keefus. What's up, Keefus? Ah, oh, Tiffany. What's up? Man? Ooh, looking good, Tiffany. Ooh, I can't wait to meet you at the fucking Arnold. 
Nicky Dean, Brooklyn number one gangster. What's up, my future son-in-law? How the fuck are you? Have you heard from Big Rob? No, I have not. Hamburg, there you go. From military to civilian. Is it true that Big Rob was your follow? Hold on, I lost that one. <laughs> Big Rob was your hair follicle donor? <laughs> it didn't do much good. It's what you get when you go from military to... Oh, the, the, okay. You, get the, you actually get a lunch break now, though. Kamalika, what's up, Davey? I can't wait either. I'm going to give you a big hug and a kiss. And thank you definitely to uh, to Todd. He sent me a nice message as well. So uh, I like to joke around and stuff, but uh, you guys are really good, good good folk. What's up, Kephas? If you love something, then no reason to be a bitch and complain. I just get done what I need to get. I need to get done. I have never competed. I never, ever wanted to. And I never, ever will. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Stop! There are kids watching this show, Joe. I'm going to get you. Did Big Rob send you to cease and desist yet? Um, no, but imagine if I wanted to do that. I could, but I'm not a fucking homo. Rolanda wanted to, what did that say, Keith? Titan Medical Center, Mikey and, and, and Tia, Tia, Tia Renee. Mikey's doing videos on these beautiful mountains in fucking Hawaii. I'm fucking jealous, Mikey. I have everything in your life. Every time he said to keep your mouth shut, you should have belted. <laughs> I should have, right? I would have been doing it all day long, though. How would you leave Big Rob's physique? I... You know what? It... He... I've seen him, I guess, with a tank top is the best I can see him, you know, as far as his videos go. I mean, for a 47-year-old guy, he's, he's kind of like thick. I'm not going to, you know, just because he's a fucking douchebag, unclipped cock sand mook doesn't mean that I have to fucking, you know, lie and say his physique is shit and he's a weakling. That, that would be gay if I did that. Will Kai Green ever take legal steroids and win the Olympia? He'll never compete in the Olympia, so he can't win it. You think Big Rob will come back or stay from social media? Oh, he ain't fucking. That, he cannot help himself, that fucking tadrul. Doing 30 years. What did I miss before that, Keith? I didn't see what you put in before that. I, so, doing 30 years. That was uh, in, in the uh, uh, Midnight Express. They were singing that song. I want a tag team match. You and Big C versus Fat Robin. Ironic one. Oh, I'll take Caleb anytime. He's a fucking beast. Sand niggas are cut, mutilated like Americans. Joe, how's your family? Yes, thank you, Kian. Um, I guess a little bit better news today, slowly but surely, you know. I'm be, I'll be there tomorrow. I was in contact with my brother. Carlito's Way, was that? I would recommend Rob to supplement with cyanide. I need to do legal steroids too before my next show. I will fucking put you in touch with them like I did the Mikey to the mic. Mikey to the Mikey. Um, but yes, uh, use that code, Jan40, for their show. Did you make any resolutions? You know I didn't. I should have made a resolution to fucking not deal with Big Rob. <laughs> Save myself a lot of fucking aggravation. Keith said yes. I didn't see what you said, though, Keith. I'm sorry. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm stunada. Big Rob will come back when Andrew says he can. Andrew, my mentor, my friend. Oh, how douchey is that video. Now, I'm still trying to figure out is the, uh, what's that, the fucking camel fucking, um, the, the camel fucking <laughs> cook grill there, whatever the fuck it is. Is that a legit? Travis Dustin, what's up, buddy? What's the best part of the vegetable team? <laughs> Imagine Lenny Dale Chance, Genova, J. Lou, Calora doing the movie. <laughs> I, I would go in a heartbeat. More, that, that was your resolution to get more, more pussy. My wife takes care of old folks with dementia. We have, oh, thank you so much, Johnny. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, he's uh, he's he's kind of getting better, but not great. And that the dementia thing is is it is what it is. You know, the heart stuff and the AFib, and now he's got something with his kidney and stuff. It's just like it's, it's just one thing after another. But he's eighty nine, man. Keep us one last for now. Look at me, Carlito. I'm in a fucking wheelchair. I can't walk. I can't hump. Now wait, that was I saw Carlito's way. I'm trying to remember that part now. Is that a part in the movie? I can't remember Ariana's biggest fan. Someone gave 
Lenny Superdraw on the podcast, so I hope he's still alive for the Ruby. Now, Superdraw was like a thing what Gaspari had that, Chris, right? And then they fucking banned it. That was like a really good fucking thing, if I remember. I have to admit, when Rob was ranting about you talking about prostate massage and airplane, it had me dying. Yeah, oh, it was hysterical, bro. I'm not going to deny it, but I didn't hide it. I put the, the product on the screen. Dr. Joel Kaplan's prostate massager. It's fucking pretty good. <laughs> Don't knock it till you try it. <laughs> You're digging the gray beard. It looks classy. Sleepy dog. Yo, what's up? 18 forever, Chris. That's what I thought. <laughs> it didn't work out so good. You know, Big Rob got banned from the restaurant. I don't know. I don't know if that's a fucking fake thing where somebody is, uh, you know, saying shit. Strongest oral out there. Um, I don't know. Um, I saw a video on uh, Pornhub. There was this fucking bodybuilder girl, and she was sucking this guy's cock fucking balls deep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's super droll or something much stronger than that band in 2005. Yeah, that, remember the pro-hormone band they want? Joe, go give us the burp. Uh. That's my alcoholism. You know, someone's really up to rock when you have to read each text message three times, really understand what someone has to say. <laughs> Chill, bro. Just working on dropping 30. You're dropping 30 pounds. Why, sleepy dog? Enjoy it. Have fun out there. What does that say? Misfit ain't mania. Hey, uh, acre till USA oak far then up. That is, that is some other fucking foreign tongue that I can't read. Medusa. What is Ariana putting up? Beers and, and uh, champagne clicking. Clicking. I have Chris Bra's new, and look at it, on, on perfect uh, uh, segue, Camerica in his new video is on this new MSTV. I was going to text you, but realized you had the show. My video is almost done, bro. Send it soon. Can you post this video for the hockey? Yes, absolutely, David. Without a fucking doubt. Yes, we'll get it up right away. I don't like watching a BJ. Just give me some girl on girl. I agree with you, but if I see a POV BJ, I try to pretend it's me getting my dick sucked. Runkabali. What does that mean? Like fucking dirty guinea? <laughs> I, I'm not I usually if I, if there's like a cock in a porn I'm watching, it's usually got to have two cunts surrounding it. I don't like watching like one on ones. I like watching like, but sometimes it depends. Sometimes I'm looking and I see a fucking girl that reminds me of a girl that I want to bang, have banged uh, in the past, or you know, like it just it, you got like a reminder, and it's like. I'm going to jerk off to this one because she looks like so-and-so from that fucking job I had in 1988 or whatever. Joe, you think about the path you took from interviewing Hines Ward? <laughs> that was actually the AL, uh, the AL, the AFC championship game, though. Bickering with mentally deficient, uncircumcised Arab is pissed. I probably could have interviewed him after the Super Bowl because two weeks later I was there and I interviewed James Faria, Troy Palomalu, um, who was the tight end? The big white tight end, number 84. I forget his name now. And um, um, Rooney. Not, is it Rooney? Yeah, that, the owner, the old man. He was standing right there with the Super Bowl fucking thing. And I, I, I said one thing to him. And I put my, like, uh, you know, something, art, whatever. Hey, congratulations, art or something. And he was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't, he, get away from me, you fucking big nose jerk off. <laughs> you know? Cuck porn is fucking. I can't watch fucking cuck. When wife gets fucked by black guys. Well, that's, that's, uh, why would I get turned on by my worst nightmare? <laughs> See, that would lead me to fucking suicide. <laughs> Big Rob would do tranny porn. No, I don't think Big Rob is, I think he's a regular heterosexual male. Who's a douchebag? <laughs> who was fucking too smart for his own good the other day. Was the human torpedo as a brain damage as he came off? <laughs> you <Jesse> <laughs> The human torpedo. <laughs> Picture how his cock looks with that fucking extra skin on it. <laughs> with that fucking piss-colored fucking, fucking, uh, you know, <laughs> pigmentation. <laughs> Um, Big Rob will watch his wife. Get it. No, so don't talk. I don't want to talk about his wife. That's wrong. I can hate a man, but I don't have to be a mean to his wife. We could gay it up with you getting fucked by a black guy. You want to fuck, get me fucked by a black guy for a gay porno? 
It will be the last thing I do on this planet because I would fucking eat my gun right after that for two reasons. <laughs> Joe, you can't have fun. You'll lose sponsorship. Yes. Titan, they don't give a fuck about Rob. <laughs> I, I gun to head every fucking guy in this fucking room right now on well this thing would say the fucking same thing. Fuck them. <laughs> Bunch of fucking savages. <laughs> Fuck <it. laughs> Lenny sucked that black shirt. That's Lenny. That doesn't mean I want to do that. You know? Oh, you wouldn't walk for a week. Yes, I would it would be hard for me to fucking kill myself. I would have to crawl to my fucking gun box. Crystal Wildfire, Anthony. So we are going to be joined by not one, but both of the co-hosts of the upcoming Fit Chicks chat, Fridays 8 p.m. on Crystal Wildfire, Anthony's Instagram channel. Yum, yum, yum. Hey. What's up, baby? Hey, how's it going? First Kimmy, <laughs> now you. Yeah. What do I, how do I deserve this fucking honor of having the two buttes, the, the MSM maidens, joining me live? <laughs> we, we, you know, apparently... It, we must just be attracted to racist people. It's why we voted for Trump. Yes. That's why we follow you. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the racist people get all the pussy. That's what it is. <laughs> and unfortunately, the, uh, the, it, the majority of them can't talk about it because they don't want to get in trouble. And I can't blame them. If I was still a cop, uh, I couldn't say the shit I say now. <laughs> of course I couldn't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to be a liar. You know, I got a luxury. I can fuck around and joke around about it now, but then I couldn't, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And so I, do you I think didn't that feel this way until the day I retired, by the way. <laughs> but, of course not. It's only after Never. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love that. So do you think that there's steam coming out of Big Rob's head yet? After watching your video. What do you think's going on? Because it's been kind of fucking radio silence since then on his end, right? Well, and you know, I mean, it went up, what, a couple hours ago? I mean, it hasn't been up long. No, about late, like 1130 or something, I put it up. Yeah. So I wonder if he's seen it yet, but if he has. He hasn't um, posted YouTube in a few days either, though. No. I don't think he knows what to do at this point in time. <laughs> I, I, he's... He's racking his brain trying to figure out, you know, which direction to go because every time he goes a direction that he thinks is going to work, like coming on and, you know, trying to show you up on your show and then it implodes yes. not once but twice. Do you think you know, that, like, that review on the, uh, in the, at the San Natella restaurant there is real with that owner, quote unquote? I think it's, I think it's one of two things. Either it's real and he's not letting him back in or what I really think is the guy put up that review – to try and quiet people, but told Rob, you cannot video in here anymore. That's very You can come in. That Rob may have went in there and told him, him, hey, these things are all bullshit. They're trolls. You know, uh -huh. nobody's ever really made a complaint about me video, and it's just people that I'm having an internet argument with. So, yeah, that yeah. kind of sounds very plausible. Hey, Dylan Frage, what's up, Bite Life? What's going on, bro? But, yeah, that, yeah, so that's what I, it, I, that, that sounds maybe. like a good uh, a good way to, to figure it out because I don't think that the owner really put that up and it, you know word for word and that was uh, you know what they really uh -huh. did or meant or whatever it just seems like it was to stem the tide of piss yeah so they probably told him you know dude you can't videotape in here anymore you know it's it's they're dragging down my business even if you know it's not true whatever yeah but um, you know so we'll see we'll see if he does any more videos from there I was on hasn't. Reddit right before I got on here, and it seems like most of the guys don't know why that because like why you're ruining the guy's business just because it was naughty sixty six on Rob. I don't think they're getting, you know, they're not. I guess that they didn't, they weren't in on it from the beginning, so they didn't see what really. They're not pissing on the business; they're pissing on him. In, yeah. In the negative review, every every review that was put up that was aimed at Big Rob. I think almost every one of them said the same thing as far as the food is good, the service is yeah. good. Like, they didn't bash the restaurant in any way, shape, or no, form. No. They just said there's this creepy guy there that's <laughs> videotaping all the time, which is true. Yeah. And it bothers us, which is true. It bothers us. <laughs> yeah. Picture that place must so, be a fucking shithole. It must smell like the fucking barn. And, you know, when, you, when your horses, when you, when you didn't get a chance to clean it out for a fucking six months or something. And you know it's got to be a fucking filth fucking pile of fucking camel shit. 
Uh, I can't. I can't do. They do so much lamb, and I just don't like the smell of cooked lamb. When he shows his dishes, I, nev I never have. Let me show you this Arabian dish. It's like, like, please stop. Everybody fucking thinks it looks like fucking dog food. Just you know, fucking Alpo yeah. fucking dinner. You know, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Big ZD don't look like that. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd rather drink my, I'd rather eat my SpaghettiOs out of a can. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even the ones with those great I'll meatballs for the hot dog fucking, yeah. the mini hot dogs. <laughs> Hell yes. <laughs> he, he is, uh, like, I just don't, I, I, I said if he, if he put a thing in and wanted to come on, I would run to the button to click yes, you know? Yeah. I just. Yeah, I don't know. At this point in time, you know, it, the last two times it just didn't work out well for him. Yeah. So I don't know that he if he if he ever comes back on, I think it will be to apologize. Now will it be sincere? I don't think so. <laughs> but I think that would be the only way he'd come back. And um, is to put out an apology so people will leave him alone. I, I, I think what he he's what he needs to do, I think, is just basically go away quietly, but then I'll be bored. <laughs> <laughs> it's That's what Johnny Bravo is. That's what Johnny was saying. He's like, man, I love to fuck with him. Yeah. But I can't fuck with him and have the FBI showing up at my fucking house. No. And and you Rob, know, so you have to stop. Rob was telling John, let's. Let, this is fun when we go back and forth. So fuck with me a little bit. And then when he did, he called yeah. the cops on him again. It's like... Oh my god. Yeah. And the the recording of the you know it actually was kind of funny that the cop called and left you a message at first. Yeah. Because when he did, and you have that recording, it says who he is, where he's from, Robert, and who called and made the complaint. Robert Jordan, he says. Yeah, yeah first and last name. <laughs> it's like, so it wasn't like you could even, it's not even like Big Rob could say, oh, no, Joe called the cops in Livonia, told them a story, and then started recording, like, and only showed parts of the recording. Yeah, no. It's like, no, they called him. And that was from start to because finish of you. You even hear the menu at the beginning yeah. of it. And you hear my wife fucking chiming in in the background. Maybe just bring a reply. If I wanted to, like, shut up. Leave me alone. <laughs> I handle this shit. This is my department. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So we'll see. Like I said, he hasn't posted anything in a few days. So, you know, he's it, once he sees it, if he hasn't seen it already, yeah. I, I think that the smoke, the smoke's going to start rolling. He's just going to be pissed. <laughs> And, but what is he going to say? I'm showing his own fucking words. You know, it's... Yeah. He's going to accuse me of doctoring the oh, yeah. texts again, like last time with Ron Harris? Yeah, doctoring the texts, yet he could never show proof of any of the originals yeah. that weren't doctored. Show them. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Let's go. Show your cards, bro. And then, and then blatantly on your show saying, why did you say I called the police? I never did that. And then the officer, <laughs> like, oh, dude. But how stupid. <laughs> Like, to say that, I know we were talking about that yesterday. It's like, what the uh -huh. fuck would, it, it, that's something that could be fucking thrown right back in his face in two seconds. And that's what you, you said. He, you thought he was uh -huh. trying to get me to, to open my mouth and he start He was trying to get you to open your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. But even if I did, I would have been like, the fuck are you talking about? They fucking called me. Uh -huh. And yeah. he knows they left oh, me a yeah. message because that's why he said, answer your phone when he texted me. You're in trouble. They're calling oh, you. Answer your phone. You're in trouble. <laughs> You've been naughty. You are in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> Mister, All right. I'll let you get back to your show. All right, Mister, thanks. <laughs> I'm going to keep watching. I will see you uh, tomorrow night. Like I said, you know that I'm, I'm stuck on the bench uh, uh, doing the oh, yeah. coaching duties, but I'm going to try to pop on him for a second just to say hi and then say I got to go because uh, we're down by 40 points or something. <laughs> Not a we're not problem. A yeah. team. We're a bunch of fucking white boys. <laughs> not very good at basketball. <laughs> That's all right. We we try, damn it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We dribble <laughs> off our feet. It's okay. It's all right. It's all good. All right, cool. Thanks for coming. Right, you guys. You look Thanks. lovely as always, dear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll see you later. Bye, hon. There she is, Ms. MSM herself, head MSM maiden. Crystal Wildfire Anthony tomorrow night. Be sure. Guys, go to Crystal's um, channel tomorrow night on Instagram, 8 o'clock. Her and Kim Haynes are going to do a co-hosting show. They're going to be split screen like you know, like when me and Rob were on. <laughs> um, and they're going to be talking about 
you know, mostly fucking type of things. Joe, you're gonna get in trouble. Mm, Crystal, big tit. Well, she has two of them. They're both large, so it'd be the pluralized big tits. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. There's my alcoholic fucking belch again. I played basketball. I had more technical fouls than points. <laughs> We actually played pretty good the other night. We played on uh, Tuesday. Um, the final score didn't really dictate the pace of the game. We hustled pretty good. We, just... <laughs> we didn't get as many points as the other guys. That's the only way we play. Way to play Arnold. Well, hey, Ali Q, I'll be seeing you soon. Great coconuts. Not only that, Rick, she's got big, beautiful titties, too. I didn't see. Did she have coconuts there? Was she eating lunch or something? Did Rick obviously think, uh, yes, Big Rob Oxley thinks that people are his fans. He did not realize that the whole Team Humanity thing was a troll-driven fucking group that was just pulling his leg, or as he probably would think, his big dick, his big unclipped fucking elephant trunk. I have no doubt his penis is larger than mine. I don't care. Damn, didn't even notice my coconuts. <laughs> Can I have some milk? <laughs> I think Big Rob, at the very least, has his star <laughs> personality. This one. Who was like, I saw it on the feed while he was berating me. Um, was it deranged by the day or something? <laughs> I, so I'm paraphrasing. Is Big Rob the ultimate troll? No, he's the ultimate male. <laughs> He's like fucking uh, Thunderlips, Hulk Hogan in Rocky Three, the ultimate male versus the ultimate meatball, and that would be me, the little guinea. <laughs> Adrian, catch me! Oh, that was so dumb. <laughs> Ali Q is awesome. Yes, she is, Ali D. Fit. I get deranged by the day. That was it. Yeah, I want to do a series like that, but I can't take fucking credit for that name. And I would just show like little, you know, little joke highlights and stuff. I gas him up from my burner account. <laughs> you got a burner account. <laughs> Big Rob's ultimate sand Nutella. Yes, I agree. Just watch the video. Tonight. Thank you, Lenny Parsons, last direction. Thank you, Scoop. <laughs> ultimate meatball. You don't remember that? Remember in Rocky Three with the, at the beginning, Hulk Hogan's in there. Rob's IQ has to be lowered. No, I don't think he's dumb. I, I, I think he's shrewd, um, but I don't think he's stupid. I will be there. I can't wait for the Crystal and Kim show. They'll be awesome. Wait. Now, Gav, are you going to uh, fucking manipulate your penis while you're watching them talk? Big Rob has a similar physique to Tattoo of Fantasy Island. They're making a new Fantasy Island. There's some hot chick on it. I saw her being interviewed on the news the other morning. Big Blob Clitoris is laughing so much he's crying. Big Blob. That is a great fucking account name, dude. Rob is 99% autism and 1% humanity. We like memes and cool shit. I don't know what the fuck that means, bro. It's Oh, uh, but of course, Titan Medical Center presents Ask Me Anthony MSM Style right here Thursdays, 3 p.m. Eastern Time on Muscle Sport Mag's Instagram channel. Come on, Joe, you're being too nice. No, I actually do believe he's not a dumb person. Let me see. What did what did uh, uh, Tiff say? I'm going to watch the video. Thanks for the laugh, you Christopher. You are loved too, dear. I cannot wait to give you and your husband Todd a big kiss. Both of you are getting kissed, and no homo. Unless he's unless he's into that. <laughs> I wonder, Joe. I don't know, bro. I, I, I'm trying to give him a little credit. You know, I, he made such a jerk off out of himself that it's really not going to salvage anything anyway. That was awesome, Hulk Hogan. Throws him out. <laughs> it's okay, Joe. You still win like always. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Jenova is smarter than Rob. Did you, do you sell Fenabut? What the fuck is Fenabut? I'll put my dick in it. No. <laughs> Memes and cool shit. Oh, okay. I didn't want to include the word shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, we want to keep this family friendly, like I said in the, in the last week or something. High-functioning autism. No, he's not autistic, bro. Big event Friday night before Elephant Expo. Iron Addicts with Fletcher. I'll be there. Oh, shit. What's going on there? We're going to be setting up our booth on Friday night and then going to get fucking toasted. <laughs> We arrive in town on Friday, the 25th, 
And then the 26th, 27th is the expo. And the 28th, I depart the left coast. Fenabut is a form of GABA that crosses the blood-brain barrier. I do not sell that as far as I know. <laughs> Yeah, you know how sometimes, no, I'm just kidding. That sounds like something that isn't uh, with us. Who would win in a third girth contest? You eating five pounds of spaghetti versus Big Rob eating five pounds of, wait, I didn't see that. Five pounds of hummus. Oh, he does like his hummus. I think I would win because he would need something a little more substance. Fenebutter sold as a drug in Russia, I think. Muscle Russia. I have to lose every ounce of fat and 30 pounds of muscle to be Jason Genova's size. My sponsor is TC Wangella doing something and asks us to be there. Oh, cool. Is Shelly going to be with you, Ali Q Dub? I can't wait to see Shelly again, too. She's cool shit. No Fenabut. Joe only sells illegal steroids and cocaine. Yes, could you play that cocaine thing? <laughs> what is Greg Valentino say about it? Greg messaged me and shit and said, you know, Greg's. We'll fuck him, you know, we'll fuck him pals and shit, you know. Uh, and when times with the family, when his fucking dad died, I was at the wake and shit, you know. So we're good like that, you know. There's, at, at any time, you know, hey, is everything okay? You need anything, blah, blah, blah. Of course he did that because he saw what happened, uh, what I was saying about the, the folks in the hospital. But he's like, don't let this fucking idiot bother you. He's just a fucking asshole and shit. Joe, we know you sell illegal. Says, no, I take them. I don't sell them. I like to use them. I don't, it's like selling beer when you're an alcoholic. You don't know when you're going to need your next hit. Artie, what's up, my fucking friend? Artie wanted to, I saw Artie's comment. If I go to the Arnold, you're in trouble, Rob. He was right. He wanted to kick his ass that day. Thanks for, thank you, Artie. I appreciate it. Sponsorship with Under Armour. Yes, Big Rob is Under Armour. Where can I buy GHB, my Nutella? I don't know. Where do I live? In New York, Cam, 1998. Nueva Yorker. Will Greg be at the Arnold? No, Greg doesn't really like doing shows. I don't blame him. You know, I, I honestly, they're, they're a fucking pain in the ass. I enjoy the drinking at night. The show part fucking sucks. And Greg doesn't party, so I can understand. It's like it's torture, and you don't even get the fucking payoff at the end of the night. You message The Rock again. Well, you know, you're not fucking Rob. That guy was talking crazy. Thank you, Artie. I appreciate it. No need to take it personal, though, bro. Um, if you see today's video on my YouTube or my my site, you'll see how I totally fucking uh, you know debunk every everything that he was saying. I just make him look sillier than he made him look himself. <laughs> uh, alcoholic Joe, cocaine. Imagine if I did cocaine, nobody would want to fucking party with me with this fucking two fucking car garage on my face. <laughs> Does weird on Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson messaged me, Ali, a, a couple of weeks ago around the holidays to wish me a merry. And he said that he's been having some difficulties. His house got burglarized. His phone was lost. And he was trying to uh, get another phone and get back on board with everything. Um, so I, I miss Mr. J. I loved him. I, I, I would love to see him get his fucking eyes bulged out by having a female bodybuilder choke him out, his, his fucking fantasy. Rizamada, I don't know what the fuck that says. Joe chops himself the selfish line. Oh, there's that one with, uh, with Marilyn Monroe again. I like that fucking picture. If you look like Marilyn Monroe in real life, let's make love. <laughs> Yo, what's up? His connection is... Is this the revenge fucking call here? This guy has on the new all right. I don't know what that red fucking rope thing is, but if it's his cock, he's got a fucking huge one.
Well, you're on the air. Go ahead. This is your fucking 15 minutes. Go for it, pal. I guess that was a San Nutella trying to fucking um, make Joe nervous. <laughs> Blow me. You hardly even know me. When's the beheading? Yes, it did look like some kind of fucking, uh, um, some kind of foreign thing. Wow, Joe has included. Can somebody do me a favor? What was that fucking name on that? The, I, I tried to say it, but when the, when the replay gets recorded, it doesn't come. That's why we can't find out who Vegetable Soup is. I just like to keep track of who these fucking douchebags are that are trying to play fucking, play fucking ISIS. <laughs> Dices, oh, <laughs> a fatwa, oh, I can't take credit. That's an Anthony Cumia fucking gig, a bit. I can't take credit for it. There was a say in Nigeria with his friends using hookah watching a 1990s TV. <laughs> I, you know what? I, I did say it. So when I do watch the replay, I'll hear what I was saying. And then I could see who was on the show because I could look at the viewers as being the host of the show, and then I will be able to tell who it is. I think I have a feeling, because there was one fucking guy on YouTube who was like, oh, he really is a racist. What are they Fuck yourself. Suck my fucking dick. How's that? Lick my asshole, my balls, and my fucking foreskin. Yes, I am circumcised, unlike yourself, cock eater. <laughs> Come back on, go ahead. Talk all, right, say whatever you want. We'll, we'll have a lot of fun. I followed. I, how did you get vegetable soup? We all can't find out which account he was. They were hitting that hooker. I don't know. What is that hooker? Say? It's not weed, though, right? Because people told me, no, it's like fucking vape-like. But I, I don't know what the fuck it is. I like veggie soups Instagram. So, yes. So we were joined by uh, somebody that uh, did not choose to speak. Right? They just use his uh, deep black fucking holes in his face. The eyes to be, uh, you know, Mr. Big. Abdullah <laughs> posted. Okay. Joe, the racist. Yes, Artie, you know it. You hate me so much because I'm so racist. You're an African-American gentleman and you fucking hate me because I'm racist. What are the odds Trump actually builds the wall? I don't know, bro. I think it's more of a fence kind of thing if it's going to be anything. Those fucking cunts, that Nancy and Chuck fucking cunt team really are like, ugh. It's disgusting. Is to burn shisha flavored tobacco? What the fuck is shisha, Ariana's biggest fan? Can you add more people? I can add you now if you want to come on. Yeah, Lord Jesus. Only one at a time. I can't do two at a time as far as I know. I never tried it, but I don't think that's that it's capable. He's a team manager and a model and fitness model and dancer. It says on his Instagram. Who? Fucking vegetable soup? You got to fucking post it. Racism is made up. It's bullshit. No, not really. I can't, I can't really say that. I would give Nancy some good tea. You bang that, bro? I guess I would, too. I'm in the shower. Oh, I hope you're soaping up that big cock of yours. <laughs> oh, is it vegetable soup or Riza you're talking about? What's Riza? Was that the guy that came on, the fucking uh, Dysus there? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> is Rob isn't a troll. He's going to scan him some of He's going to behead you, his family, your friend James. doesn't have much to lose. Listen, if I get beheaded over Big Rob, I, I would be fucking uh, a martyr for the fucking piss troopers. You know? <laughs> the guys will be in carpet last <laughs> week. Oh, there are not more viewers. You're entertaining. Hey, what am I going to do? I can only control what I can control. The replays get decent hits on fucking uh, YouTube sometimes. Sometimes they don't, you know? At least they didn't have their cocks and a goat. You don't knock it till you try it, bro. <laughs> if, if Rob apologized. To me, apologies are fucking gay. I would not accept it. I'd, I'd let him on the show. He doesn't have to. I, I, listen, if it would provide ments, I don't give a fuck. He doesn't have to say anything. The guy was Albanian mafia sent by Big Rob. Big deal. I respect them as some of the family so much. Thank you, Gav. And I respect you for respecting us. <laughs> you are part of the family. How could you respecting yourself then? Fuck his apology. No, I don't. I, I'm, I'm not one of those guys. 
he better apart. I could, that to me, that's fucking baseless most of the time. And I don't care. It doesn't matter. You survive being a cop, then you will get taken out by Big Rob. Yeah, that would fucking suck. No, Audie, that's not nice now. See, I don't like hitting the fucking wives and the daughters and shit. I don't want to stoop down to fucking his level. Are you going to go on to the Misfits podcast? Anytime they would, if they would ever want me to come on, I would fucking jump. I love it. Apology accepted. $300,000 buck. <laughs> I love the Misfits. Are you kidding me? Those guys are fucking funny as fuck, man. Each and every fucking one of them. Big Rob is going to shoot up the Arnold. Well, according to his fucking, his butt buddy, Ron Harris, it was going to be a mall or a concert last I heard. Shouldn't say it if you're going to apologize. He's not going to apologize. And even if he does, like I said, I'm not going to accept it or not accept it. I don't care. It's like, whatever. Just now, here, yeah, now you're on. Talk. What do you want to talk about? Somebody told me the Big Rob's real name is Frank Rizzo. And he has water over his ass and genitalia. Misfits are great. I think she will like it, though. I'm clipped. So you are clipped. See, I knew a few black guys that walked around with the fucking baby's arm holding an apple, man. They were in fucking circumstances. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> what happened to Koth P.J. Braun? Was he indicted? For I don't know. No idea. I, I, I didn't hear anything about him either way. Artie, you're known as the bull. <laughs> the prep, the bull. <laughs> Artie said that last time. <laughs> Holy shit. So what do we got? We got about 10 minutes or so left in this fucking uh, uh, real, uh, real. <laughs> See, I'm fucking losing it. Titan Medical Center presents Ask Me Anything MSM Style. Um, the, the San Nutella's favorite fucking show. Artie, you know, uh, PJ Braun was mentioned on the most Del Rey Misfits pocket. Oh, really? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I know Blackstone's supposed to have a booth at the LA fucking fit. So um, I'm not going to be walking around because thank God we have a booth for once. I can actually fucking not walk around like a fucking, like a fucking weirdo. Prep the bull, baby. Patrice O'Neill. Oh, Patrice was the best, bro. <laughs> it was a rumor floated by Big Lenny on the Del Rey Misfits. Oh, I don't know. Did that guy sell Jason the cucumbers? Yeah, that was a big cucumber. I still don't think that was really a, I think that was fake, that picture. <laughs> I think it was real, but I don't think it was Jason. That's what I mean. Indicted for a league. No, come on, Lenny. Come on, Scoop. It's okay, Audie. You're making Patrice proud. Yes, Patrice, Patrice O'Neill was one of the funniest fucking stand-ups, and he was amazing in the studio on Opie and Anthony. He was a, a, a semi-regular. He wasn't there every day, obviously. Um, but he was there quite often, and that's where I was uh, exposed to Patrice's fucking humor, and I loved it. Joe is, is Joe is big and has a lot more respect for people. Big Rob will every half of people. Well, I'm not really big. My nose is big. My heart, well, I guess when, if you ask Dan, the bodybuilder in Thailand, isn't, I don't have a heart. Did you see Robbie Robinson on RX with Dave Plum? He's amazing. No, I didn't see him on that. But I saw Robbie at, uh, was it the Olympia, I guess it was. He used to do articles for us, too, man. Here is, well, hold on a second. I got to write that down. Don't go anywhere. Vegetable soup. What is that? Echocardiogram? What does that say? <laughs> hold on, dude. Yeah, like, he could control that. Echo's full giant. Oh, no, you're not going to hell. Bill Burr and Chris Rock. I like Bill Burr, but he became such a fucking liberal. Like, he, let, he made it affect his comedy. You know, like, come on, bro. I never knew he did that. All oh, right, I never knew he did that, Joe. What? You talking about Patrice on Opie and Anthony? Echoes. Echoes full giants. Uh, whatever. I think I think that's a, a unique one. So that'll uh, that'll come out when we you put it in the search. What are your thoughts on Joey Diaz? I love fucking Joey Coco Diaz. I've listened to his podcast. I did watch a few of his episodes because he does them on YouTube too. The podcast. Um, yeah, he's a New York guy. He's fucking yeah. Joey Diaz is fucking funny as fuck. He's great. Talking about Robbie Joe. I did. Oh, okay, Robbie uh, Robinson. Don't be a snowflake, Joe. Just until you... <laughs> I'm being a little bit of a. I'm being like AOC. I fucking that video of uh, uh, Alexandria Cortez Kennedy Diaz, whatever the fuck her name is, when she was in Boston College dancing like that. 
She was hotter then than she is now. So I know she was like 19, 20, but she's only 26. She looks, she, she's frumpy looking. I know she's got to play the part, you know, she's supposed to be a professional now, this cunt. But uh, she was hot when she was there. He's from New Jersey, Joey Diaz. Okay, he's photoshopped his pics. Now, how did you find that name, bro? The uh, I ever met Franco Colombo. Yes, yeah, yeah. I was with Greg at the, was it at the 2013 Arnold? Or 15, one or the other. And Franco was there eating dinner with Arnold and we were in that hotel and um, 13, 13. And uh, it was a whole bunch of those guys together eating. And uh, and uh, Greg introduced our buddy Alessandro Sabi to Franco because they're both from Italy. And, um, you know, I didn't give a fuck. I was still standing there hanging out at the other table. But uh, he was there. Did Franco try to bring? Yes, that's an infamous story that Greg uh, talked about a few times. Uh, like, I, I think on Generation I and then on one of our shows a long time ago, we spoke about it. Joe, you should come cover the Hawaii Pro. I would love to, but I, I don't want to spend all that money in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> fucking bills are going up and the fucking ads are going down <laughs> since Rob took all my you know, sponsors away. <laughs> I followed him while he was on here. New confident. Lose him. I hope you and Greg do a regular show. I know. Me too, bro. I really want to. I fucking love Greg. And, uh, and he definitely wants to do the show too. Oh, come on. I would love to, Crazy Fit Freak, Miss T every night. To see you guys. I wouldn't even care about the fucking show. I want to hang out with you and Mikey. Have you ever done an interview with kidney transplant survivor Flex Wheeler? Many, many, many years ago. When I worked for the sports magazine in 2008... Um, my first time at the Arnold Classic. I interviewed Flex. I interviewed Sean Ray. You know, at the Expo, at the Boots. You know, everybody. I think even like a year or two after that, I interviewed Flex again. But see, I don't... I know it's going to sound stupid, but I have no interest in fucking uh, interviewing those guys. They bore me. And they're not bad guys. That's your pro debut? Is that the Sean Ray show? Because I know he does a Hawaii show, but is that the NPC he does? He wants to grow his following. Yes, we should do the right. Don't don't fuck with that that uh, vegetable soup guys thing. Just please. I, I feel so bad for the guy. He looked like a nice kid. Have you ever seen Big Lenny drink piss before? Not in person on video. Greg wants to get paid on past glory. No, bro. Greg is fucking. No, I totally disagree. Artie, I love you, but I gotta disagree with you over here. Um, Greg goes to every comment on those fucking videos on YouTube that I post on his shows and fucking thanks the guy, answers the questions. He's fucking on top of it. And trust me, him and I really have been MSM as a team minus that one fucking year after we had that fight. He has been a huge part of this fucking whole fucking thing. And, uh, you know, to me, he's he's the type of guy that really made a big difference. And I, I'm fucking so glad that we worked things out. You know, I wrote an article on your mag. How the hell you use that? Not easy, bro. Not easy. But he does write. I don't write it. He writes it. I fix it, the grammar and shit. I'm not going to I don't print it as is. I get a text message. One sentence sometimes. And uh, I have to fucking, it's like hieroglyphics. Good manners cost nothing. Well, then, <laughs> I don't know why I'm such a dick then. Are uh, you disagree with me because you disagree with me? Because you're black, Artie. That's why. Because I'm racist against blacks <laughs> and sand Nutellas. <laughs> Nutellas and sand Nutellas. <laughs> fucking naughty. When are we going to have a fucking drink together, me and you, bro? I want to fucking cheers to Artie. Clink classes. Damn it, Joe. I got kids for God's sake. My sister's respectable. <laughs> Sorry. Join a lot in the city. Oh, Faden, too. Thank you so much, man. You gave me that. I didn't realize you were one of the same as that other person. I don't know if you want to keep it quiet, so I won't say your old name. But um, thank you so much, my friend. That was uh, exactly uh, what I needed because it was, you know, fucking long fucking days doing this shit with my folks. So printed as is would be truly, no, I can't. I, uh, I, I got to fix it. When's Jared back on, baby? Jared, uh, who's Jared's journey? Trump for legal steroids. <laughs> it's fucking like, 
Imagine Trump. I take legal steroids. It's good stuff. I like Winnie V. <laughs> Can you believe it? Believe me, Winnie V works. Believe me, every little bit here helps. Yes, sir, sir I agree. Guys, I'm getting the... At Titan Medical Center, we are here to make you feel better, look better, and perform better. We're here to get you to your optimal levels in the most natural way possible. We are a boutique style clinic without the boutique style costs. All medications are monitored and prescribed by a physician. Let us help you get the results you've been wanting. Come to Titan Medical Center for the most cutting edge therapies and the most current information on how to take the most natural approach to your health.